So right now I'm drilling out these rivets. Um, I just wanted to get this little metal bracket piece off so I could repaint it. It looks a little disgusting. So right now I'm just drilling those holes for the uh, license plate holder. Real quick with the drill bit. Real easy. It's uh, pretty, uh, it's not very thick plastic, so it's pretty easy. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and get my uh, sanding block and go to town on this uh, little bracket piece. So right now I'm just sanding one side so I can show you guys what the difference is between sanding it. Oh, I just dropped it. Wow. Alright, so that's what it basically looks like. It didn't really focus, but it's a noticeable difference. So after I'm done with this, I want to go ahead and paint it uh, flat black like all the rest of the pieces from earlier in the series. Yeah. Alright, so right now I have to re-rivet this little metal bracket back onto the bottom of my fender. Uh, I just took it off. It looked pretty corroded, so I just uh, sanded it and then gave it a good paint job. So I just painted it black. So that's, that's one. So if you haven't riveted anything before, this is your first time, so you just go ahead, place your rivet inside, and then you get your rivet machine. Mine's pretty big, but there's usually handheld ones. Go down, go up, and then this last time, there you go. Just like that. Okay, as you can see, it's riveted in with those two silver uh, rivets right there. This is what the top looks like. It's right there. So, how a rivet works is, if you don't know, is you have, uh, let's see, let me show you guys. So you have a rivet like this. This is what a rivet looks like. Let's see. That's what a rivet looks like right here. And it's basically a nail kind of and there's a little sleeve right here so you have your rivet gun right here and this little et this little tip piece can be replaced with different tips just to fit so uh, say you have a big rivet and it won't fit inside the hole of your uh, of your rivet gun so then you can just use an attachment that comes with it and it'll fit perfectly once you put this thicker end uh, into your material which you want to rivet together you put the thin uh, long end into your tool so you put it in your tool like this and then you open up your tool and then you start to close your tool now watch carefully at the uh, at the tip okay see this see the the end which is like a ball type ending this little end of the nail or it looks like a nail damn it focus well it looks like a nail and it's a thick end and it goes inside of the metal sleeve so as you keep cranking down on it eventually oh my god stop focusing on my face eventually It'll come off. Your rivet will look like something like this. Like this. See? You have this end going inside of this little metal sleeve part. And it, it expands the sleeve part so it can hold together those two ends. And then in your machine you end up with 
just this little uh, needle looking piece and this really doesn't do anything it just allows the tool to grip onto it and pull the little end piece into the sleeve. This is the riveter that I use. I'll put the link in the description below. I got it from Harbor Freight. Uh, I think it was like $15 or something like that. Pretty cheap. Comes with some rivets, comes with different sizes. Okay, so this is the fender eliminator looks like right now. I need to get my clear turn signals in the mail, so that I'll have to wait for now. But I just painted the, basically I just painted a few things black. So I painted the little license plate holder black. Um, riveted these parts, you guys saw that. And that's what the bottom part looks like. It's also black. And then here's what my tail light assembly looks like. So, a little dirty still, but I can go clean that up after. Uh, I painted the whole little uh, piece black. I uh, just repainted everything. Uh, pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like right now. So, that's what these pieces look like. Everything is all black right now. I do want to figure out what color to paint these parts as part of the helmet holder. I have these little Allen uh, Allen bolts to replace these regular ones that I stripped that were originally on the uh, helmet holder. I painted everything black again because these look kind of disgusting. Um, yeah, so that's basically the progress I made the past few days. Just painting a few things. I haven't done much.